All SLRs come with a built-in correction system for its viewfinder. It's a small lever or knob usually found on either the right or the left hand side of the viewfinder. With the proper adjustments, even those with poor eyesight can get a sharp view of the world through their lens without the need for glasses or contacts. Now this has nothing to do with whether or not their images are going to be sharply focused. Uh, this is only what they see through the viewfinder. Uh, even if a viewfinder was improperly adjusted, a shooter can still get a sharply focused image. But all he needs to do is focus the best he can through the blur. The inexperienced photographers refer to this viewfinder correction system, the, the knob or lever, as their diopter. Uh, this is understandable, yet utterly incorrect. The word diopter refers to a simple unit of measurement. Uh, it's not a knob or a lever. The viewfinder adjustment tool can get misaligned very easily. Uh, it's very close to the viewfinder itself. You can see it right here to the right. Being so close to the viewfinder, and especially when you bring the camera up to your face, your cheek can brush against it, but let alone spending all day in a camera bag when anything can brush against it and change it. It's imperative that every in-focus photographer check and adjust their viewfinder. I, I, do it every day if you need to. And yes, this goes for all of you with perfect eyesight as well. Because remember, this doesn't have anything to do with that. This has to do with the viewfinder being adjusted just for your eye. And if it gets knocked out of whack, you need to fix it. The process for adjusting this is pretty simple. Uh, simply grab the control dial with your finger and move it as far as it can go. I'm going to throw mine as far as I can go. There we go, to that side. And you can go to the left, to the right, I don't care. As long as it's about as out of whack as you can make it. Once you've got that done, you're going to want to change where you're focusing. I want you to throw your focus completely out of whack. I'm going to spin it all the way to minimum focal distance. Now here's the kicker. Once this is at minimum focal distance, I'm going to point at a wall, a ceiling, or if I were outside, the sky. Uh, when I look through the viewfinder, obviously everything is going to be blurry. But see, that's the important part. Everything. Now it's just a matter of looking back through my viewfinder and adjusting our knob or lever until the focus squares. Remember those autofocus squares that you see when you look through your viewfinder? Well, if you look through there now, you'll notice they're completely blurry. That's right. So if you adjust your diopter, you can get those autofocus squares in focus. Ah, see, now watch. So we go all the way to minimum focal distance, point up at the sky or a wall, make sure that this is fully messed up, look through, and now simply adjust the diopter until those autofocus lines are completely in focus. And poof! You're done. That's it. You've just adjusted the viewfinder for your eyes. This built-in adjustment system has a wide range of choices, and, and you'll see that when you start turning it. If you're slightly farsighted or nearsighted, the system might just help, and you might get by with not having to wear your glasses or contacts. If not, if, you, if, you, if, you're, if your uh, prescription is really bad, uh, you can purchase other pieces that fit on top of those viewfinders. Trust me, they figure out a way, and it's there if you really didn't want to wear your glasses or contacts. But no matter how you look at it, keep in mind you have to check this. It does get misaligned quite frequently. So good luck. Mess up your diopter and fix it again. And we'll catch you out in the field.